United States as a country is the number one in many popular sports, such as football, baseball, basketball. What about the Olympics, where United States is the most prolific medal-winning nation in the history? We could say that United States is a big sports country. Sports are very important in this society, and this country seems to be the worldwide dominant. But why United States hasn't succeeded at all in the number one sport in the world? Why Americans don't play or watch soccer games as they do with other sports? There are many reasons to explain this strange situation, from the beginning of sports until the non-qualification to the last male World Cup. But here I'm going to focus on three main reasons that in my research are the most significant reasons to know why soccer is not popular in the United States as it is in most countries. First of all, Americans are not the best in soccer. People in the United States always want to be the best at everything, which has nothing wrong at all. We have noticed that during the history of the country, Americans always seek to win at everything. USA is a country that has fought during its entire lifetime to be the number one superpower in the world, which they actually are right now. As soccer is so popular worldwide, it will also be more competitive. The United States soccer team is not considered a superpower in the soccer world. In fact, they didn't even make it to the last World Cup. Their best participation in a World Cup was third place back in 1930, when the first World Cup was played. For that World Cup, Teams didn't even have to qualify, they were invited, and the level of competitiveness was then anything close to what it is today. With that said, United States national team has never been a tough competition for big European powers of the sport that have historically knocked USA easily off World Cups. Not being able to be the best at soccer is probably a good reason for Americans to dislike the sport. At the end of the day, no one likes to see themselves losing. The second reason is that soccer is not the ideal for marketing and business. Another reason of soccer not being so popular in the United States is because in this country, corporations want to do as much money as possible. The big TV networks in the United States are no different. Obviously, the major revenue stream they have when broadcasting sporting events is advertisement. People didn't expect to, uh, companies expect to put money and get money out. Uh, you invest in something to have a good return. So right now they still uh, don't think they can get enough uh, as a return fin financially. So still it's going to take a while until soccer is going to take over. They are more likely to promote the most ad-friendly sports. Coincidentally, these sports are baseball, football, and basketball. In football, for example, you have all of these breaks between the game for advertising. End of the first and third quarter, timeouts, injury timeouts, halftime, two minute warnings, stoppage after pond and kickoff returns, stoppage after a score, stoppage after a turnover, co challenges. In the other hand, soccer only has half time. This makes the sport not suitable for advertisement, which means big TV networks won't prioritize broadcasting it. The American culture unconsciously values a lot the economic principle of opportunity cost. This factor refers to the loss of potential gains from other alternatives when an alternative is chosen. In other words, Americans value a lot their time to make money. People will want to use the little leisure time they have in the best way possible, and watching a soccer game for two hours to watch two goals is not something that excites Americans so much. And the third reason is scores and ties. Again, we come to the opportunity cost. Any sports fan in the world won't like to watch an entire two-hour game to end up with a tie. There has to be a winner. If not, watching the game is not completely worth it and a loss of your time. Basketball, baseball and football games 
will usually have a winner. Among football fans, the games they hate the most are those ones that end up in a tie. They say it feels like both teams lost. It's a championship and in the end you can have uh, playoffs, you can have different strategy to make it more more interesting, but uh, a tie is a tie. It's like, uh, it's like hockey. They have to get a lot of people that uh, enjoy hockey. Hockey is, is a very popular sport here. A lot of people that enjoy hockey, they are easier for them to understand soccer too, because basically it's the same kind of a game, but uh, played different. With different. Uh, it's an ice and uh, it's a puck, but the, the way they score and the way they play, it's, it's, uh, it's very similar to soccer. Another problem with soccer in American eyes are the low scores. Baseball and hockey are low scoring if they end 3 to 1. In football, a game that does not go into double digits is considered low scoring. And in basketball, triple digit games are a common occurrence. In soccer, the tendency over the last decades has been towards lower in scores. The, in Major League Baseball, the average score of a game is 9 runs scored which is equivalent to, say, nine goals. And in football, the average score is 20 to 17, which is about seven goals in comparison. And then we have the NBA, which on average, each team scores 97.2 points, which is about 75 to 85 goals a game. And then there's soccer, who scores 2.2 goals on average per game. That's just not big enough for America. These are only three of many reasons that explain why soccer is not a big deal in the United States. But it's important to highlight that soccer is in the top five of most popular sports in college and schools in America. Also, the women's national team is the most successful in international women's soccer, winning four women's World Cup titles, four Olympic gold medals, and eight CONCACAF Gold Cups. Definitely a great achievement and a big contrast with the male's national team. It's also important to highlight the Major League Soccer efforts to be one of the most exciting soccer leagues in the world by attracting stars to the league in the recent years, as well as the expansion that the MLS have had. Some important news for the country in general is that the 2026 Soccer World Cup edition is going to be hosted by the United States Canada and Mexico. This will attract millions of people that are going to travel to the country to be present at this event, the second most watched in the world just behind the Olympics for a small margin. Is soccer going to be very popular in the United States? The male national team will compete for a World Cup? It's uncertain, but they are working hard on it.